Journey to the West, Chapter 75, Battle of the Wukongs. The two Wukongs stared at Curious Ear. I'm the real Wukong, shouted one monkey. Right? No, it's me, shouted the other monkey. I know which of you is the fake Sun Wukong, said Curious Ear. But I won't say who it is. The fake Sun Wukong has all the same powers as the real one. If I point him out, he'll be angry. He could destroy the entire palace. It's true, said one Wukong. I could destroy this whole palace if I wanted to. You mean I could destroy it, said the other Wukong. No, yelled the other. I could. The two Wukongs began swinging their iron bars at each other. Please stop, cried the judge of the dead. You'll tear this whole palace down. The monkey stopped. Buddha can help you, said Curious Ear. He'll be able to see which of you is the real Wukong. And he's powerful enough to destroy the fake one. Of course, cried one Wukong. We'll go see Buddha. Oh, um, sure, said the other Wukong. He looked worried. You're nervous, said the first Wukong. That's because you know Buddha is going to see who you really are. No, shouted the other Wukong. He swung his iron bar furiously. Get out! cried the judge of the dead. Take your fight somewhere else! The two Wukongs left the land of darkness. Clouds swirled and thunder boomed as the two mighty spirits battled across the sky. They soon arrived in the western paradise. A guard rushed out of the Thunderclap Monastery. Stop fighting immediately! He called up to them. Tell me who you are! The two Wukongs landed in front of the guard. The guard looked surprised. Wukong? He said. There are two of you. Yes, said one of the Wukongs. I must speak with Buddha right away. The other Wukong scratched his head. If Buddha is busy, we can just come back another time. The first Wukong shot a look at the other. No, we can't! You may enter, said the guard. But you must behave yourselves while inside. As the first Wukong started to enter the monastery, the other one backed away. You're coming with me, said the first Wukong. He grabbed the other monkey by the arm and dragged him into the monastery. In front of Buddha, the first Wukong bowed. The other Wukong hesitated a moment and then bowed also. Greetings, Buddha, said the first Wukong. I must ask for your help. I know why you're here, Wukong, said Buddha. He looked at the other monkey. And I know that you are a fake. The other Wukong gasped and then vanished. Buddha held a bowl up in the air and then placed it upside down on a table. I've trapped the fake Wukong under this bowl, said Buddha. When Buddha lifted the bowl, a tiny monkey spirit lay on the table. Wukong leaned closer to see. He was a monkey who became an evil spirit, said Buddha. He wanted to be you because you're so powerful. Wukong laughed. <laughs> Many spirits want to be me. The monkey thanked Buddha and then flew back to Mount Kotalaka. Guan Yin decided it was time for Wukong to rejoin his companions on the journey. She and the monkey found the Tang monk and the others along the road to the west. The Bodhisattva told the Tang monk that it wasn't Wu Kong who'd attacked him. You must keep Wu Kong with you, explained Guan Yin. Yes, Bodhisattva, said the Tang monk, bowing. 
Thank you, Bodhisattva, said Wukong. I'll make sure the Tang Monk reaches the Western Paradise.